Now, I want to know, Mr. Smith, are you telling me that somebody or some group of people within the U.S. government have purposely manipulated the temperature data so that their results are biased toward warm? I can't speak to their motivations. I can't say what they were thinking. I can speak to the result, and the result is exactly that. Cold thermometers are deleted, warm thermometers are kept, and the anomaly map shows heat where there are no thermometers by filling in from warmer places. So is that the extent of, of uh, the bad things that are going on? <laughs> Uh, that's the biggest piece, but it's not the full extent. There are other, other processes that warm the data. Tell me about that. I ran into one detailed programmer issue where the order in which they do the mathematics uh, warms one-tenth of the records by one-tenth of a degree centigrade. Uh, it's a computer programmer bug sort of thing. Did you find any others? Uh, there were some other... I've heard about something called homogenization. Oh, yes. Homogenization is an interesting one. They, you have one thermometer for one period of time and another thermometer for another period of time, and you glue them together. And sometimes when you glue them together, you have to move one up or move one down or adjust them to make them smoothly fit together. Uh, I don't really think all of those homogenations are valid, but that would become a technical argument. And the net result is that it, it appears that uh, the Earth is much warmer than it used to be when you and I have a pretty strong feeling from our closeness to weather data, and, and I've been devoted to it for 55 years, looking at temperatures all over Earth every day. We come to the conclusion that really there isn't any significant warming on Earth. Uh, I not only don't see significant warming in many parts of the planet, if you look at the raw data, or as close to raw as you can get, there's cooling or no warming. So parts of Canada have in fact cooled off when you look at the raw data. When you look at New Zealand, if you look only at the thermometers that were kept, there's no, no warming at all. There was one cold thermometer that was deleted currently, and that gives the apparent lift to New Zealand. But if you normalize your instrument to only use the consistent set of thermometers, it's dead flat. Now, are you naming any individual? Uh, I don't know what individual. Uh, there is a data set manager for the NCDC data set. Uh, his name is up on the, the NASA website. But I don't know for certain which individuals under his guidance might have done the changes. Well, I'm confused. There is the National Climate Data, the National Climate data Center in Nashville, North Carolina, the yes. NDCC. And then there is NASA with the Climate Center I think at Columbia University in New York City, at which of these locations is this taking place? In my opinion, it's a, a interaction between the two. Uh, there's a little bit of pointing each way. I don't know why that would be, but it does allow them to, to each claim it's not their fault. When you look at the data, it's produced by the National Climate Data Center, and it has the data deletions. But when you look at things like homogenization or the urban heat island adjustments, that's done in the NASA data set. And the infill and the, the boxing, the, 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 the smearing of the data from where there are hot thermometers into the cold area, that's done in the NASA program. So each one can say, I just do the data, I just do the program, it's not me, it's not me. So we have NASA in New York City, we have the NDCC in Nashville, North Carolina, NASA is obviously part of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. The NDCC is part of NOAA, the National Atmospheric and, uh, and Oceans Agency. And you're saying that the, the, the two of them may be uh, working together on this. Well, they certainly are working together on this because the data set manager for NOAA is a NASA employee. He's on loan to them. So the person who manages that data set is in fact from NASA. So and they are both part of the U.S. government. Yes. And basically, uh, we're accusing, or you're accusing, apparently, the U.S. government of manipulating temperature data. Uh, the whole government, no. The individuals responsible for the data, yes. They are, in fact, manipulating the data. So you don't think it's necessarily government policy. You think it may be individuals. I, I doubt if it would be in any way attributable to government policy. These the 
there's some argument you can make that some of the changes might be rational and might make sense. The interaction between the two is, is sort of the, it happens in the middle. But the pattern of it is so strong, I have trouble believing that it's accidental. Uh, as to motivation, as to saying these people deliberately did something, uh, that's not for me to say. I can just look at the pattern of behavior and the evidence and say this is what comes out of it. You have posted all of this on your personal blog, and for someone who is meteorologically savvy and computer savvy, there's a lot of data there, isn't there? Yes, I put up all the code, every step I do, all the data, it's all open book, everyone can look at it and see what happens. And that is, give that address. Uh, C-H-I-E-F-I-O dot wordpress dot com. So chiefio dot wordpress dot com. And uh, why do you do this? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as you How may do you know, find the, time from your job to do this? As you may know, the California economy hasn't been too good lately, as, especially after we put our own version of cap and trade in place. So I've been unemployed for a while, and I don't do idle very well. So I needed something to do to keep busy, and uh, you find work if you don't have any. Well, I have a feeling that uh, what you've done is going to rattle things in Washington. Uh, can you say congressional investigation? With any luck. Thank you so much for making the trip from San Jose to San Francisco to join us on this program. And much good luck to you. Thank you.